Hi, and welcome to our next tutorial video on C++. Remember that there's many tutorials on YouTube that can help you learn C++. This series is designed to be short and to the point, so you can get programming right away. After watching this short tutorial, I highly recommend that you open up a free editor like Replit and try what I have shown you. You will learn a lot by just playing with the code. In this program, we're going to take a look at a for loop and what that is in C++. Loops are really important in any programming language. We can have infinite loops that continue on forever, or we can have finite loops. And what a finite loop is, is it means it only loops so many times, or it only does something so many times. Maybe it does something three times, or five times, or ten times. That's a finite number. And that's what a for loop does, is it does something over a certain number of times. We're going to look at this program here. We've got hashtag include IO stream, don't forget that in your program. And then we have our int main, we've got a main function here. We've got a curly brace here that has to match with this curly brace here. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a variable called input, it is of type integer. And then we're going to output to the monitor, please enter an integer. Our user is going to enter some integer value and we are going to use the CN command and store it in the variable called input. Next, we're going to set up a for loop. And we are going to have this for loop loop a certain number of times. How many times? Well, whatever the user entered in for a number. So if the user enters in five, this will loop and execute five times. If they put seven, it will execute seven times and then stop. How do we do that? Well, we've got our for loop here and then we have the conditions here that allow us to loop a certain number of times. After that, we have a curly brace here and another matching curly brace here. And in between there, this is what we want to loop over and over, whatever is in between these curly braces here. What this part of the for loop does is it says the first time through the for loop x is equal to 1. And we want this for a loop to keep executing as long as x is less than or equal to the input, whatever the user entered. Then semicolon x plus plus, what that does is it increments the value of x by 1. So every time this for loop goes through, the value of x goes up by 1. So the first time, x is equal to 1. The next time through, the loop x is equal to 2. And it keeps working like that. It will keep looping until this here is false. So x is less than or equal to input. If it is, then this will execute. If it's not true, it will jump and it will go down to return 0 and our program will end. So let's take a look at how this works. So if we click run and our program says please enter an integer and I put in the integer 5, our program inside the for loop takes the value of x and it displays it in our monitor. So we can see C out here the value of x first time through is equal to 1 next time through the value of x is equal to 2 because we've incremented it here. Next time through it's equal to 3. When it gets to 5 in our case here, 5 is less than or equal to 5 so it will output 5 but the next time through when it gets to 6 is 6 less than or equal to 5? No, it's not. So it doesn't execute this line again. It jumps down to return 0 and the program terminates. The program ends. That's it for this video. Try this on your own and see if it works. And we'll see you next time.